Deanna from Call to Cultivate. So I will link her channel down below as well as a link to the playlist of all the other channels that are doing this. So hopefully there'll be some great Easter activities. Easter. We love to celebrate the traditional religious aspect of Easter, Easter but we also enjoy the fun bunny noses and Easter egg hunts. And, so you will see and, a, the, and the Easter basket. Yeah, and of course the Easter baskets. So you will see a mix of both of those throughout this video. So join in and we hope you enjoy the video. Me join in! All right so Boo Boo today for preschool is going on an Easter egg hunt. So in here, I put some tape to make it like a maze, and I'm going to give her a spoon, and her job is to try and get some of these Easter eggs out. Can you get one out, Boo-Boo? Yep. Ooh, now, is there something inside? I hope so. Can you open it? Okay. What is it? E. It's an E. I printed off this chart so once she finds the letters, she gets to put them on the chart. So can you put the E where it belongs? E. Where's E? Where's that E? Right here. E. E. Can you put that E on your chart? I really want to try that. <laughs> you can have a turn when she's finished, Belle. And then she gets to keep going until she finds all of the eggs. Have fun, Boo Boo. X! Boo Boo, can I open this one when it comes, when you get it? Yes. What's X? X is. All right, the girls are working on this I Spy. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Um, and we are going to go ahead and listen to a story. We're listening to the Incorrigible Children on, of Ashton Place um, on audiobook. So while they listen, they're gonna keep their minds busy doing this. This would be a great activity just to have to pull out um, when, one of the, when one kid finishes earlier than the other or um, like I said, when you're listening to an audiobook. The girls and I are working on a simple craft. You need pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, pom-poms, and a piece of paper. And we are using a glue gun. Um, so if you decide to make this craft, you'll need an adult to help. Yep. And here's Bear with her completed craft. Quick and easy. <laughs> and it's so cute, right Bear? Yep. <laughs> All right, it's our Easter special lunch. We are having one of our favorites. Macaroni. <laughs> these two is favorites, I should say. We like to buy this bunny macaroni at Easter. The Annie's brand has these. And Boo Boo, Belle, and Bear. Bear love macaroni. Bug doesn't, so we cooked up some little Smokies to go with it. And, of course, carrots, because what would a bunny lunch be without carrots? Right, girls? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, you girls ready to eat? Yeah. yeah. All right, do it. Is this my bag? No, one of the ones with mac lots of macaroni. Right, so I found a printable online, and while the girls are coloring it, I went ahead and read them the Easter story. This is a very gentle introduction to uh, the um, story of, Je oh, of Jesus. Is Thanks, honey. Of Jesus' death and re resurrection. So they, I went ahead and read that one while they are coloring this, and then we'll cut them out and put a brad in them. And it's a very um, simple way of showing the um, events that happened. Here's my finished project. I gave it to Boo, and it can spin. 
right, it is snack time. So I went on our last grocery order and ordered some things that I thought were Eastery. Cadbury eggs. I thought I was getting a bigger bag, but apparently I bought the mini bag. Mini marshmallows because they look like bunny tails. Yep. <laughs> Pretzel sticks. And more like carrots. Oh, yes. More Annie's um, bunny treats. And then just some toasted O's. And then I wrote out a trail mix recipe with these and had Bug type it up because I'm sneaky like that and like to sneak in some work. <laughs> so Bug made us this recipe. Now everybody else is going to follow the recipe and make us a trail mix as our snack. May I help? Of course. Now this, this would be a great activity for a fun snack, but it would also be perfect if you were doing an Easter themed poetry tea time. Have the kiddos make it and then they get to enjoy it. Yeah. Have the kiddos make it and then they get to enjoy it. All right, girls, here's yeah. your recipe and there's all your ingredients. How about it? What's the first thing? Cup One cup of mini marshmallows. I'll handle them. I'll go good. I'll oh, handle the marshmallows. Oh, these are kind of cookie. Are these eggs are kind of eggs? They're candy. These yeah. are candy eggs. Yummy! Mom, toasted o toasted O's are better than no cereal at all. <laughs> Although they have no sweetness, they're better than no cereal at all. Mm -hmm. Hello there! We finished uh, our snacks, and Boo is and Boo is picking her topper, which is a cute little carrot. And I'm going to have a chick with a purple egg. Look at our snacks! They turned out so cute. I want this cute little carrot. Can I see it? Look, I got this yellow this egg, egg topper to match my eggs. Can you just... <laughs> cute. All right, so we came outside to enjoy the sunshine for our craft. We took a <laughs> canvas and put masking tape down in the shape of a cross. And then the girls are doing fingerprint um all around the cross and then once the paint is dry we'll pull it off and there should be a nice clear cross in the middle of their painting all right so our um pictures have dried and we peeled off the tape and they turned out really well the only thing i would do differently is use a pastel color so it was a little more eastery next time but i still think that they're really really cute and of course we'll keep them because they've got everyone's little fingerprints we hope you enjoyed our video <laughs> All right, friends, that is the end of our video. We hope that you enjoyed it. We would love to hear. If you have Easter plans down below, we would love to hear them in the comments. We'll see you next time. I also love you. Bye.